Although Distorted Art as a visual style has been around for decades, glitch art in recent history has become more and more popular. In general terms, the technique is about referencing hardware and software failures by incorporating stylized distortion effects into a design. Looking at the definition of the word glitch, there are different meanings in regard to the context that can be used. A hardware or software glitch is referred to as a sudden, usually temporary malfunction or fault in a piece of equipment. However, the term can be used outside the heading of technology, as it is sometimes used generally as a way of describing an unexpected setback. But what are the origins of the word itself? Derived from the Yiddish word glitch, Yiddish for a slippery place, and glitchin, Yiddish for slide, the term glitch was first used by radio announcers in the 1940s to describe mistakes made on air. It then gained in popularity during the 50s when engineers used it to refer to technical problems in television. Astronauts also used glitch to describe faults in the technologies they were working with. If we are talking about the unique visual style however, the aesthetic itself can actually be traced back to cubist paintings and oriental pixel style rug designs. Although these were created way before the glitch art movement, it's interesting to see them almost predict the unique style that's so implanted in our culture today. Fast forwarding to the late 1970s, one of the first iterations of glitch art was created called Digital TV Dinner by Jamie Fenton, Rul Zeritsky and Dick Ainsworth. The video was created by manipulating the Bally game console. To get the glitch effect seen on the video, the console was essentially punched so the game cartridge popped out while it was processing information. The screen was recorded and glitch audio was added over the top to create the final piece. Later, in the mid-90s, the term glitch started to be used to describe a genre of music that combined the styles of experimental, noise and electronica. Shortly after this, visual artists start to embrace the term glitch as a new aesthetic style, and glitch art came to be a blanket for a whole library of visual arts. One of these early movements, later dubbed Net.Art, included work by the art collective Jody. They experimented with using purposeful glitches in the website that showed error codes or messages. This practice later influenced visual distortion methods like data bending and data moshing. These techniques essentially create an effect where some frames or pixels stay in place while others change. The start of the 21st century saw the glitch art movement slowly start to gain traction with the first ever glitch art convention, Motherboard. Held in Norway, the Tech Art Collective brought together international artists, academics and practitioners for the purpose of sharing their ideas and working with each other as well as the public. Moving on to 2010, the first glitch conference organised by Nick Briz, Evan Meany, John Satram and Rosa Menkman was held in Chicago spanning over five days. The event included lectures, workshops, installations, screenings and performances. The conference was a success and was followed by an even bigger second glitch event a year later that was spread over three cities in seven days that included panel discussions and a gallery show. Today, glitch art is a whole collection of different styles and techniques spanning over a wide range of mediums, with more artists practicing the subject than ever before. Thanks to our increasingly technological world and in combination with world issues seemingly on the rise, symbolism in glitch art has become a prominent and powerful tool practitioners can use to challenge modern ideologies and social issues. Because glitch art is often based around manipulation and distortion of existing media, it overlaps a surprisingly large area of other creative practices inside and even outside the art world. As we know, glitches originated with technology to describe their malfunctions, so any creative practice that is involved with technology can be converted into glitch art. Computer software is often used as a method to create glitch art through manipulation software such as Photoshop to create purposeful glitch designs. On the other hand, it can be created through the manipulation of software when failures happen within the device itself as we've seen with the project Digital TV Dinner. This unique art movement celebrates the imperfections using a medium we hadn't really seen before, mistakes. Because the nature of the word glitch is describing a sudden or unexpected corruption, manipulation or malfunction, glitch art is bursting with potential for symbolism. Although glitch art can be purely aesthetic with no hidden meaning, the technique is often used to represent themes that most conventional art styles tend to avoid or don't have the means to access. Glitch art is a powerful tool that can start discussions around sensitive subjects, as it can help the viewer put the issue into perspective, allowing them to understand it more. There are many ways to create a glitch design, and it's much more than just pixelating an image.
Glitch art techniques often replicate the aesthetic of real world glitches through editing softwares. All computer images when displayed on a screen are made up of tiny pixels. Pixelating is what happens when a problem with the software or the screen itself can cause these pixels to be misplaced, miscolored or dead. A light leak is when a film camera allows light into a normally light proof film chamber exposing the image with extra light. Two exposures can be layered over a single image by capturing two or more images over one frame. This technique combines two images into one using transparency. A noise and grain overlay can create an old style image similar to what's seen with VHS tapes. Color degradation is an effect where colors separate out and leak away from an image or text. The design of a texture itself can give the effect of distortion by using asymmetrical or warped geometry in images. Glitch lettering is often displayed similar to how VHS tapes distort text with ripples, noise and pixel distortion. And the three artists that created the iconic digital TV dinner arguably kicked off the glitch art movement as it was one of the first iterations of glitch art made in 1978. It paved the way for glitch art as a movement and no doubt inspired many practitioners to explore the topic. Moving on to more recent artists, Rosa Menkman, author of the glitch art theory book, The Glitch Momentum, was inspired to create her own glitch art after seeing the work by artist collective Jody and has since created some of the most well-known and popular glitch artworks. Daniel Temkin combines optical illusion with programming. His blog, describing coding languages as a form of art, has received a lot of attention in the art world and media. The New York Times, Boston Globe and Art News have all praised his work. As we are increasingly moving towards a digital world, with new innovative technology always on the horizon, I think the potential for new and evolved types of glitch art is a certainty. Like how glitch artists take inspiration from VHS tapes or other old hardware for their designs, we could see future generations of practitioners using our current technology as an aesthetic style. Who knows, we may have glitch art holograms in the future. <laughs>